usually students would not be doing theory, uh, theory research. Met although it's possible, like I say, if you're in mathematics or you're in um, physics, I guess you, you could be doing that. Not quite my area. Methodology articles. Methodology articles are kind of interesting. And again, this would probably not be students, so just very quickly, methodology articles focus on methodology. That means that they focus on very specific ideas, maybe statistical testing, maybe mathematical, maybe uh, chemistry, maybe physics, and that is they're actually trying to advance the methodology, the way you execute some research. So for methodology, they'll be very technical, be very advanced, not something I think most business students will be doing. Now case studies is something that it, it is very possible students will be doing and is actually very common among students like EMBA, that is executive MBA, night school students, students who are working. Case studies are very common in business, especially for people who have working experience because they can use their working experience as the case. In any case, case studies can be common across many fields, anthropology, uh, even other areas related to science, uh, even medical, you can use case studies very commonly for research. So what is involved in a case study research? In case studies, we usually study groups of participants, although they could be individuals, but most, uh, more likely it's going to be a group of people. So case studies report that information and uh, let the reader understand the context. Case studies often illustrate some kind of problems. So they may be studying a business, a family business that's having some kind of difficulty or success and what's involved in that. Very often the case study is focused on some kind of issue. So in business school I think we're very familiar with this. Maybe if you're in the science area you don't touch case studies that much. But suffice to say that case studies is really a more general way, an inductive kind of study, a more qualitative study. That is, you describe the situation. It's not going to be hyper-scientific or mathematical in that sense. Another kind of uh, research you can do is called meta-analysis. And again, this would not be students. Usually these would be professional researchers who do this stuff all the time. And a meta-analysis is kind of interesting. It's very common in the medical area and in other sciences, such as physics and chemistry, although we do have it also in business. And the way a meta-analysis or a review of articles, or sometimes a review of reviews, the way these work is you first have a problem that you're going to investigate, and then you look at the previous research, and specifically as kind of research. So for example, Maybe we're going to do a meta-study on dieting. So I want to understand the previous research on dieting. Now I have to be more specific, so maybe I want to look at dieting by using vitamin D. Okay, so I'm going to look at all the studies I can find that studied vitamin D. And those studies themselves should be some kind of um, collect data collection that is, those studies themselves have real data. I combine that data into my paper and I call it a meta-analysis. So if one paper has a t-test and that t-test has uh, variable A is higher and it's higher by one standard deviation and then another study has variable A and it's lower by one standard deviation, I can combine these together by using some mathematical techniques and using some scores that equalize everything and I come up with a bigger study. So I take smaller studies and make a bigger study. I guess that's a good way to say it. So you identify relationships or contradictions or inconsistencies in the literature and we often see this in medical research where a meta-analysis will come out and the news will say uh, for the last pen, 10 years, everyone has been saying you should be take more, take more vitamin D, but this new study is a meta-analysis shows that vitamin D is not effective. How do they know that? Because they took many smaller studies, added them together. And then usually a meta-study will give you some kind of idea, what do we need to do to move forward in the future? Okay, so those are the different kinds of research you can do.